This video is investigating the quality outcome of Sony's Type 1 Exmor RS CMOS sensor with a ratio of 3 by 2. The different high frame rate sequences have been shot using the new Sony RX10 Mark III at 600 mm focal length but eventually also other Sony cameras using the same type of sensor like the Sony RX10 Mark II or the RX100 Mark IV will, besides of the dramatically different lenses they use, lead to somehow similar results. All test footage has been filmed equally during the late daytime this excellent point-and-shoot camera can produce extremely high frame rates up to 1000 frames per second in PAL or 960 frames per second in NTFS but only at cost of cropping into the standard HD resolution. All sequences shot at a higher frame rate than 100 FPS which, by the way, leads in combination with Sony's new HAVCS HD codec to excellent picture results, will first be stored to the camera's internal flash memory and then, after recording immediately, be converted into an MPEG-4 compression. Here, the camera performs two processes at once. On one hand, it stretches the high frame rate sequences out in sense of time to the formerly selected record settings. On the other hand, it stretches out the original crop factors increasingly the higher the selected frame rates are to fit standard Full HD resolution. Which means to us filmmakers is not going to be given access to the camera's raw footage that was initially being burst into the camera's internal high-speed memory. All HFR material higher than 100 frames per second is automatically being transformed and recompressed in sense of time as well as in sense of the effective sensor resolution readout during the recording. For us applying the resulting footage directly to our contemporary Full HD image languages, this is easy, fast and convenient to do. Nevertheless, we are dependent, limited and forced to trust the quality of Sony's internal MPEG-4 compression as well as the camera's internal upscaling algorithm. To get an objective sense of the graphical dimension of this picture transformation processes, this analytic and comparative comparison has been produced. We extracted the values of the maximum recording time of around 4 seconds from the camera's instruction manual. In all of our own field tests so far, we were able to get longer shots out of this machine. Out of this machine. Out of this machine. Eventually, in one of the follow-up videos, we will investigate this phenomenon in greater detail. Please comment and like the video or just follow this channel if you are interested in further such analysis.